Rana's next stop was MIT, where she continued work on a new algorithm, one that could pick up on the important features of human behavior that tell you whether you're feeling happy, sad, angry, scared, you name it. It's in your facial expressions, it's in your tone of voice, it's in your like very nuanced kind of gestural cues because she thinks this could transform the way we interact with technology. But where to start? She decided to go with the most emotive part of the human body. The way our face works is basically we have about 45 facial muscles. So for example, um, the zygomatic muscle is the one we use to smile. So you take all these muscle combinations and you map them to an expression of emotion like anger or disgust or excitement. The way you then train an algorithm to do that is you feed it tens of thousands of examples of people doing each of these expressions. At first, her algorithm could only recognize three expressions, but it was enough to push her to take a leap. Golden opportunity to reimagine how, you know, how we connect with machines and therefore it's humans, how we connect with one another. Today, Rana's company, called Effectiva, has raised millions and has a deep learning algorithm that can recognize 20 different facial expressions. The application she's especially proud of is this. Most autistic children struggle with the basic communication skills that you and I take for granted. A collaboration with neuroscientist Ned Sahin and his company Brain Power that allows autistic children to read the emotions in people's faces. Imagine that we have technology that can sense and understand emotion and that becomes like an emotion hearing aid that can help these individuals understand in real time how other people are feeling. I think that that's a great example of how AI and emotion AI in particular can really transform these people's lives in a way that wasn't possible before this kind of technology.